Hey guys, David here from Gogo to 55 Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an icon. This will work on any version of Windows. So first off, you're going to need a program called GIMP. It is free, and you can download it from the link in the description below. This will also work in Photoshop because the steps are similar, but for this tutorial I'll just be using GIMP. Anyways, so to start off making your icon, you'll want to go ahead and open up GIMP. Okay, now once it is open, you're going to want to go to File, then click New. For the width, you're going to want to type 200, and for the height, you're going to want to type 200. It doesn't necessarily matter what the numbers are, but they need to be the same so that the icon is square. I would just suggest using 200 for each since it's the easiest way to do that. Anyways, once you've typed that in, you could click OK. Okay, so now that we have done that, the first thing that you're going to want to do is over here in the layers window, which you can bring up by pressing Control L on your keyboard if you don't see it, uh, you're going to want to right click the background layer and click add alpha channel. Next up here, you're going to want to click select, then click all. After that, hit the delete key on your keyboard to make the icon transparent. Okay, now you'll want to add a new layer by clicking this button over here. And when this comes up, all you need to do is click OK. Make sure it is selected over here before you start adding things to your icon. Now for my icon, I'm just going to make it a red square with a white S in the middle. But keep in mind that you can do this any way that you want. So I'm just going to speed up the process of me actually designing the logo just to keep the video short. Just keep in mind that for each item that you add to your icon, you should always make a new layer before you do it and by clicking this button over here. Okay, now that I have the design for my logo, I'm going to save it. But first, we need to merge all the layers, and you can do that by clicking the uppermost layer and just click Merge Down, and keep on doing that with the uppermost layers until you only have one layer. Once you've done that, you can go to File, and then you're going to need to click Save As. Make sure that all images is selected down here. And what you're going to want to do is navigate to the place that you want to save it. So for me, I'm just going to save it in my pictures and you're going to want to give it a name. So I'm just going to call it icon. And then after the name, you're going to want to put dot I C O. Don't forget to put that or else it won't save as an icon file and you won't be able to use it. But once you've done that, you want to click save. And when this comes up, all you need to do is click save. Okay, now to apply our icon, so we can go ahead and exit out of GIMP because we have already saved our icon. And I have this shortcut here on my desktop that I want to use my icon on. So you can do this with any shortcut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click the shortcut, go to properties, click change icon, click browse, and then browse to wherever I saved it. And in my case, I saved it in pictures. So I'm going to select my icon that I made, click open, and it should be selected over here. Just click OK. I'm going to click Apply and then OK. And as you can see on my desktop here, I have my shutdown shortcut with the icon that I made. So thanks for watching and I hope I helped. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it, a, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, requests, or comments, leave them in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to be notified when I have a new video. And like Google to 55 Tech Tutorials on Facebook and follow Google to 55 Tech Tutorials on Twitter to get the latest technology news. All the links are in the description below.